Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to look at this uh, printhead problem with uh, HP A1000 series. It usually happens when you change to a brand new printhead. If this is the case, you probably damage the FFC cable during the installation. For example, like this one, half the cable gets snapped off. Today we got another printer has this problem. Okay, let's uh, take the printer apart and take a look. You need a T10 screwdriver bit. If you don't have it, I'm going to put a link above. That's a must have if you have a HP. Remove eight screws from the top. Count it, make sure it's eight. And this printer hinge can be removed by just simply pushing it forward. Now the scanner can be put up to 90 degrees and uh, expose some screws underneath. Now there are four screws to be removed. Now the panel can be peeled off from both sides, but let me show you this for, for the hinges. So pay attention to where the hinges are. So next time when you install, you need, you need to install this way. You don't have to uninstall this, but I know 99% of chance is going to fall out and the whole top cover can be removed. Now you can have uh, something uh, has a hook and to remove those two uh, springs that's holding the uh, holding the, uh, the brain net and remove the, uh, the cartridge and uh, now the cable can be removed. And now we can take a look. Uh, you'll see the problem. For replacement cable, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, just type in IFFC in the search bar. You're going to see it. what you need is a two-piece 15-pin for HP OffJet Pro A1000 series. And this kit comes with uh, two cables. Do not remove the old cable completely right now. Uh, the old cable will help you to decide how to wire the new cable. You're going to see a red bar on one of the cable and two bars on the other cable. The cable with the one bar is to your left and uh, the one with two bars should be installed on the right side. Uh, wire it through the middle. And here, uh, this end is the same thing. One bar should be on your left and two bars on your right. And then check your old, ca old cable before doing the next step. Okay, next step, we're going to remove this clip. You can see we can leave this end of the clip a little bit. Let me jump to the right. Uh, here's on the right and here's the, the end of the clip that I can uh, lift a little bit. With my left hand lifting that end, and then I'm going to poke through this hole on the top, and uh, one more on the bottom. And uh, they think uh, this clip is going to lose. And now we can remove that iron core and the old cable. And then we can put a new cable in. This time when you put a cable in, make sure you use even force. And uh, it's helpful if you hold your left hand steady and use your right hand inserted instead of moving two hands. Uh, make sure your print head is, is set securely and flat. And the final check on the timing belt, make sure it goes through the reader. Uh, this one will show a scanner error because uh, I detached the scanner, so there's no scanner. And uh, I bypassed that and everything looks fine. I hope this video will solve your problem. Uh, sorry I didn't post too much video recently because i am be really busy uh, vacationing. Uh, there's something called a timeshare. Uh, timeshare is such a scam. and. Uh, don't buy it. However, I'm fascinated by the timeshare, so I read a book and I spent uh, about a year and a half and uh, studied the timeshare system. Now I can beat the scam.
I'm thinking making a new YouTube channel talking about how to beat a timeshare scam. Leave a comment if you think it's a good idea. So I have four more vacations to go this month and the next. Happy printing. Cheers.